Sam. Hi, my name is Sam. And I'm Emma. And welcome to the episode January 18th, 2019. Bus passes. If your child plans on riding a bus other than their own, they must bring a handwritten note to the guidance office before noon. Please note, due to the number of students riding various buses, some buses are not open to guest riders. Monte Carlo night, February 23rd, 2019. Please join us in another wonderful night of fun and fundraising. Visit the GMS homepage to get details on how to order your tickets. Get your Kroger Rewards card today. Information can be found on the GMS homepage. Help the PTO raise money for some new and upcoming events that are quickly approaching. If you are dropping off or picking up your students, please do not do so on Stop 18. The only alternative is to meet them in Freedom Park. Students may use the walking path to meet you there. If you are picking up your child up during school, then you can pick them up in the bus lot. The annual Daddy-Daughter Dance will be hosted by Southwest Elementary at the high school, and it will take place on Friday, February 1st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Ticket forms will be picked up in the principal's office. The cost is $15 per couple plus $5 for each additional daughter. The cost includes admission to the dance as well as a dessert. Now to Dalton with the interview of the week. This is the interview of the week with Mr. Watson. How are you, Mr. Watson? If I was any better, I had to be twins. Okay. Uh, our first question is, what is your favorite PE activity? Well, you're looking at it right here. I like banging weights. Every day, I like to pick heavy stuff up, put heavy stuff down. That's my favorite. Okay. Not even close, by yeah. far. What? Next. Why did you choose to be a PE teacher? Oh, I like to coach. I thought I was good. I wanted to coach. I thought that was the best avenue to be able to coach, be around sports, be around kids, help make good husbands and good fathers. If Does that you... make sense? Is that a good answer? Yes. Okay, Perfect good. Perfect answer. Good. If you weren't a PE teacher, what would you want to do? Oh, I'd probably be a farmer. My dad's a farmer. I'd probably go down there and work with him, goof around with him a little bit. He's the worst person I know, um, so he probably would need some help down there. That's probably what I'd do. And then our last question He's is... not the worst person I know. Top ten. Okay. And then our last question yeah, is... Yeah, last question. Who is your favorite student? Come here. Hey, come here. Right here is my favorite student. This is my brother, Calvion Delaney. That's my favorite. It's not even close. No one compares to Calvion Delaney as far as who I like the best in all my physical education classes, not just this year, all time. Do you understand that? You got that? Yes. Good. I love him. I love him. Like his mom. Go do something. Go. Go play. Go. Adios. Good. Yeah. How was that? That was perfect. What else? You want to ask me anything else? Uh, nope. Those are all our questions. Attack this day with the intensity of 10,000 burning suns. Got that? Boom. Nice job. Thank you for joining us with the interview. Back to the studio. Now let's go to Chris with a look at next week's middle school sporting events. Thank you, Emma. On Tuesday of next week, we have a 7th grade boys basketball game at Beach Grove Middle at 5. We also have a middle school wrestling dual meet at Greenville Middle School against Perry Meridian and Beach Grove. On Thursday, we have 7th and 8th grade girls basketball games at Southport Middle beginning at 5. We also have middle school wrestling at the Greenville Middle School <laughs> against Indian Creek and Martinsville starting at 5.30. Thanks for watching this week's episode of GMS News. I'm Sam. And I'm Emma. Please visit our website and our YouTube channel to submit show ideas, suggestions, or anything else. Also be sure to stay tuned for more upcoming live streams of GMS events. Have a great day.